on LAX 18 News at Sunrise, Texas computer company Dell recently issued one of the funniest customer service notes ever. Tell you what, boy, you got to be careful when you're driving. I came this close to hit a pothole. Researchers have come up with a way to taste food without really eating anything. And see, you know, I'm crazy about giving it time. I do it all the time. Apparently, you didn't give it when I was gone. That's what I heard. Well, I gave it sometimes, just not every 30 seconds. People running, <laughs> people running late for work because of Jules over here. 548, we go to Utah for this story. A mom there, disgusted by some t-shirts that she spotted in a mall, decided to take matters into her own hands when the store wouldn't remove them. First though, we have some breaking news right now in Lexington. A person has been hit by a car downtown. And a judge declares a man who was standing in front of him legally dead. So there you go, tweaking it though, just a little bit. Look tweaking, not twerking. Yeah. <laughs> no, no twerking for Tom Ackerman, please. Yeah, please. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. Yeah. Oh my, I just had a video. <laughs> a landmark decision on the gay policy for Boy Scouts of America. Starting in 2014, the organization has decided gay scouts will be allowed. However, there are some changes that may happen because of this. But I mean, you, think, think of the possibilities, though. I mean, you can curb your sweet to. tooth without getting any calories. Diabetics can eat sweets without really getting any but sugar. You're not eating. And no, it's the I act know. of eating that's, that's the fun part. And the electrical simulation makes me nervous. Count on LEX 18 News. A live look straight ahead at how the commute is looking. Our LEX 18 mobile cam fired up right now. Plus, a man is accused of shaking his 11-week-old son and then pointing a gun at cops. The very unusual item some guys use during a stunt involving sharks. It's Friday, January 17th. LEX 18 News at Sunrise starts now. 5.30, top of the morning to you. I'm Chris Goodman. And I'm Julie Dolan. Thanks for waking up with us this morning. Tracker forecast. Got that busy bottom of the screen going on this morning. Fayette County schools are open today, but more and more schools are continuing to close. Laurel County. 5.34 now, a rough night for Lexington police. They say a man shook his little baby, then barricaded himself in a home. Police say the man then pointed a gun. The man accused of running from a deadly crash before a standoff with police this week has been charged with murder. Florida native Keen Keenan McLaughlin was charged Thursday afternoon with murder, assault, and failure to render aid at the scene of an accident. Scott County deputies say McLaughlin sped away from a drug bus Tuesday night and hit a car. The driver, 61-year-old Luis Gonzalez, was killed. Another person hurt. That's McLaughlin there. He ran away from the crash and was arrested after a five-hour standoff at a home downtown. A Lexington man told police that he would rather be in jail than go home, which is why he broke into a convenience store overnight. Police were called to a faculty member at Asbury University have to go to the hospital because of a flash fire at a science lab Thursday. Emergency management says it was caused by a static electricity shock when natural gas and oxygen were being mixed. The two victims had to be treated for minor burns. Emergency management says Asbury is looking into the issue and they are working to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Three people have been arrested, accused of sparking a wildfire near Los Angeles. It broke out early Thursday morning. So far, it's charged more than 17,000 acres. Police say a group of young men reportedly set up a campfire and were tossing paper into it when a breeze picked up. That is what apparently caused the whole thing. So far, that wildfire has destroyed at least five homes. He was I not know. hurt. Good thing we had the uh, sensor beeping machine going for that. <laughs> <laughs> Non-stop back there. I could see why. The latest school to call in just a couple of minutes ago. Boyle County Schools now closed today. Again, Fayette County open. All right, you can keep an eye at the bottom of your screen. Back to you. I'm sorry, I don't have time to deal with you right now. I'm, I'm <laughs> hey, sorry. that's my phone. We'll what do you think oh, you're doing? I'm sorry about that. <laughs> 551 now, birthdays and anniversaries coming up. And Lee Cruz live this morning. He's with the Flat Out Fun Dance Team with the YMCA. I, you want to take bets on whether he's going to be dancing? Yeah, there's no way. We'll be, we're back in just a second. The impact of the crash so violent, the only part of the helicopter that's recognizable, the landing skids. It hit the ground, it exploded. Lonnie Smith was working at a nearby cafe. He saw sparks immediately after hearing the crash just feet away. I felt the heat from it at the door there when it exploded. 
The AeroVac Life Team helicopter went down about 11.30 Thursday night in the parking lot of Paces Creek Elementary School. In fact, the chopper came dangerously close to hitting the building, which was empty at the time. I'm just glad there weren't a bunch of kids there. Lonnie called 911, but it was too late for the three people on board. They've been identified as flight paramedic Lee Dobbs, flight nurse Jesse Jones, and pilot Eddie Sizemore. Just an all-around good-natured, likable Boy. Earl Smith considered Sizemore a friend and says it's no exaggeration that many in southern Kentucky considered him a friend. Smith says after his son was diagnosed with cancer, Eddie personally provided a plane and flew his son to be treated in Texas. There is a song that says, we shall remember the works of thy hands. I, I think that's the way he should be remembered, by his works, his good works. Follow him. In Clay County, Chris Goodman, LAX 18 News.